Hello people with the spirit of learning, my name is Sangha and I am product designer. Well, as you know, Adobe XD has their own big update and it has gone too far. So in this video, we're gonna learn something new that we call it as a component stat in this Adobe XD. Component is like a part from your website such as navigation, slider, button, card, and many more. And the stat is like a condition of your own each component from your website. So the condition, there are two conditions in this Adobe XD. First, this is the normal state and then the hover state. The hover state will activate it after the user is pointing at on our component. But after the mouse over out from our component, it will return back into the normal state. Well, answer you already download the Adobe XD project in the video's description. So then after that, we can learn together from the scratch. Okay, people with the spirit of learning, let's get started. Okay, people with the spirit of learning. So this is the design that I did in the Adobe XD. It's like the uh, job onboarding when you are going to apply some UX design job and the interviewer might be asking you the ux design software so we're going to apply the hover stat from the uh, the new update from the adobe xd here so we got a uh, several option like sketch adobe xd and figma and this is the button continue that we are uh, not allowing user before they choose uh, it's of the option okay so yeah let's get started so make sure you download this uh, adobe xd project in the video's description so what ux design software are you familiar with i probably choose sketch or adobe xd i often use all of them okay so this is the normal state but we want to create the hover state and then the uh, focus state okay the hover state is when the user pointing at its component with their cursor like this okay but the focus state is the user uh, when when the user is uh, clicking on our item okay so we are going to create the hover state so first of all i think i will select this as uh, sketch and then there is the component on the right side you can click plus button and this is the default state okay and then you can plus it you can create your own state or you can choose the template state which is the hover state okay so this is the default and then the hover supposed to be different right so the hover uh, whenever you choose um, the layer which has the stat it will be different on the left side there is a different icon so this is uh, it has a stat on it so it uh, it has different uh, icon okay so in the sketch here we are going to change the style so i will select this uh, rectangle tree and then change the border color into the blue color just like that right and this sketch i will select into the blue color okay oh uh, sorry uh in this sketch i will undo and then change this opacity into the zero percent just like that okay and in this sketch we are going to make it a more bigger like maybe 70 and then put on the middle put in the middle okay just like that and then whenever you're going back into the default state it will be uh, back at the first design but the hover state is a different okay well actually i just got one artboard there is no artboard anymore and we can simply to select this artboard and then preview it okay so whenever your cursor is going to this item it will change 
perfectly like this okay it's pretty nice this is the hover state and this is the no normal state which uh, the cursor is uh, most over out okay maybe if you're front-end developer you'll notice this kind of thing okay and this is amazing dude look wow so you can also implement into this adobe xd or even figma okay so i just implementing on those the rest of uh item and you can simply just like this wow so much nice right so this is the hover state the new update from the adobe xd and i really love it so thank you very much for watching do not forget to like subscribe and share with your friends and yeah nice to meet you from indonesia goodbye